Hi everyone, this is a review of the Pioneer Woman Wax Melts from Walmart for 2022. This is the second year that Walmart is coming out with the Pioneer Woman Wax Melts. But this year, they are being made by Rimports, the company that makes Sensational's Wax Melts. I did not review them last year because I heard some really not so great things about them as far as the fact that they didn't throw very well. They were being manufactured by some unknown company overseas and the quality was just not that good however and that's why I didn't review them last year but however this year uh, it's definitely a difference you can actually tell when you look at them the wax itself looks better last year the wax looked kind of dry and almost a little bit crumbly like the texture is better uh, each three ounce tin container has 10 wax melts in it in the shape of a flower these are little a little hard to open. You have to kind of get your get your fingernail under there and pull it open. Now they're all a flower shape. They're not all different shapes for different for different uh, scents. And again, these are three ounces, and the cost is four dollars and sixty seven cents, which you might think is a lot. However, with these since you've got uh, three ounces and there's 10 wax melts in here, you can actually use, if you're used to using one cube at a time with a standard 2.5 ounce clam clamshell, you can use one of these at a time. Uh, there's, I mean, you could use two, but one is going to be sufficient. So, and some of these are a little thinner than others. So if you find one that's too thin, then of course you want to use two of them. But in general, if, they're, if you've got some thick ones in here, you can just use one at a time. Since you get 10 melts, you're basically getting 10 melts out of this container. So not to bore you with all the crazy math, but in the end, this 467 actually works out to 280. If this was a standard 2.5 ounce clamshell, it would be 280 because you're getting more melts. Instead of six melts, you're getting 10 melts out of the container. So that 467 is actually really not as bad as you think, as high as you think it is. Plus, when you're done, you get a nice cute floral design tin that you can use for anything else. And they snap shut, so you don't really have to be too concerned about the scent dissipating over time because either these are metal, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not cardboard. And they seal pretty well. So you can see they're but if you, you know, if you mail them out somewhere, you have to be careful because when I received these in the mail, a couple of the, 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 uh, the lids were popped off. So you got to make sure you just, just make sure they're popped, popped in pretty well. So if you've never seen my reviews before, I don't look at the scent notes until after I've done the review because I don't want to be sway, swayed by what I think that it should smell like. These actually have the scent names and the, uh, the notes right on them, of course, they're really, really hard to read. They really should have made the, the scent name and even the notes, they should have made them bigger. They're really hard to read, but that's okay. And that's that's a small, a small issue. So I will start with the first scent, which is Acorn Wreath. And here's what they look like in this pink color. And the notes are Autumn Apple, Acorns, Leaves, and Pumpkin. This smells like pumpkin pie with a hint of fall apple and a tiny bit of a woodsy note. It has a little bit of like a harsh note that I can't figure out that I'm not crazy about, but it's still a really nice scent. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5, would do well in a medium to a large sized room. Next is cedar and citrus. Some of these are, you can't just open it like that. You kind of have to put your finger in Oh, this one's not open. There we go. Nice dark blue color. Pop it closed. Is that all the yeah, there you go. Kinda have to, kinda want to hear that pop. Cedar and citrus. Notes are orange, moss, fir, and amber. I smell bergamot with smoky pine, a rich salty note, and a fresh note. Although it's not a cologne scent, it does have enough of a cologne note for me to classify it as a cologne scent. It's really all I can really say about it. It's a fantastic scent, and the throw is very strong, four out of five, would do well in a large room and maybe outside the room. French Toast, this is the one that a lot of people are looking forward to. Uh, I think that this one has returned from last year. 
this one doesn't pop shut, but you have to make sure it's closed on all sides. Notes are brown sugar, cinnamon, bread, vanilla, spice, and maple. This is a rich, buttery... Oh, God, that smells good. I just opened it and got a big whiff. It's rich, buttery maple with brown sugar, a bit of butterscotch, and a hint of cinnamon. It's so yummy, but I think the maple shortbread cookies, which I'll be reviewing in a moment, that scent, I think, smells more like French toast than this one does. But this is fantastic. Throw is very strong, four out of five. Next is Frosted Rosemary. Nice, like a bluish, dark bluish green. And notes are rosemary, cypress, wild mint, and eucalyptus. This is a very minty sinus clearing garden mint. It's not spearminty. It's not sweet at all. It's just straight herbal mint that might have a bit of sage, menthol, and eucalyptus, but no pine notes mixed in. It's very nice. It's perfect to melt if you have a cold. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Next we have lemon and blueberry cupcakes. And notes are lemon peel, cream cheese, blueberry, and garden mint. Which that last note kind of throws me because I'm like, mm, that garden mint doesn't sound good in mixed in with these other notes. But... Thankfully, I don't smell that. I'm getting the bakery lemon scent and a bit of a cream cheese type note, like a lemon cheesecake. I'm also getting a little bit of a blueberry. It's a great scent. It's not overly sweet. It's totally different from Sensation's lemon blueberry donuts, which is the only other lemon blueberry retail scent that has come out recently. That scent, the Sensational scent, is sweeter, richer, and more authentic with more blueberry, less lemon, and no cream cheese. This scent reminds me quite a bit of the Better Homes and Gardens Iced Lemon Pound Cake and the Oak and Rye Lemon Raspberry Bars. Looking at the notes, there's the cream cheese, but garden mint, like I said, is an odd ingredient for the scent. Peppermint maybe, but not garden mint. Thankfully, I'm not getting any minty or herbal notes at all. And the throw is 3.5 out of 5. Next is Maple Shortbread Cookies. Don't know why they're bright pink, but they're pretty. So the notes are sugarcane, maple, vanilla bean, and shortbread. It's a fantastic yummy scent that I think, like I said, smells more like French toast than the French toast scent. It's rich and buttery with a maple note and a cookie or maybe slightly bready note. There's no cinnamon. It's just a fantastic scent. This one and the French toast are so yummy. I think if I had a choice, if I had to choose between both of them, I'd probably like this one just a tad more, but they're both fantastic. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Pie crust cookies. This is the one that everyone is looking forward to. Don't know why it's green. That is really weird, but it's green. Pie crust. Don't get it. Maybe for apple? Uh, apple pie? I don't know. Notes are pie crust, butter, sugar, and cinnamon. So for those of you hoping to get just a plain old pie crust scent, mm, this is not quite what you might be thinking, but it's still fantastic. It's a yummy scent that it does smell like pie crust, but it has cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. So both of those notes make it smell like pumpkin pie, not pumpkin pie, but like pumpkin pie cookies. So it's not straight pumpkin pie. It's not all that pumpkin-y, but it's more like pumpkin pie cookies or cinnamon spice cookies just because of those spices. Uh, it's a, it is a fantastic scent. It's just not straight pie crust. And the throw is very strong, four out of five. Next is red apple and... I thought when I first saw them, like red apple and fig because I couldn't see the R, but it is indeed. And then I smelled it, I'm like, why do I smell like, why does it smell like pine? And then I had to read it a little closer. I'm like, oh, fur, okay, that would explain it. It's not red apple and fur, it's red, um, red apple and fig, it's red apple and fur. Notes are red apple, fur, evergreen, spru uh, spruce, and wood. This is pine with a tiny bit of cranberry. The fruit note seems to be cranberry rather than apple but it's very very subtle it's like 95% pine and 5% cranberry it's kind of a biting pine rather than a soft woodsy smoky pine I didn't sniff them side by side but I think it's very similar to Better Homes and Gardens fresh cut 
fresh cut Fraser, vanilla pine, and sugar pine, which are all biting pine scents by Rimports. It's actually very, very nice. Uh, throw is very strong, four out of five. Next is red mango and mandarin. Now, some of these scents had probably returned from last year. I know that French toast returned from last year. I don't, I don't know which other ones returned from last year because I didn't really research the ones from last year. Uh, notes are for red mango and mandarin. Mango, mandarin, guava, grapefruit, and orange. This is a fantastic, rich, sweet, very slightly salty orange with maybe a tiny bit of a lemony note. It's not sour like satsuma and it's not bitter like grapefruit. I think I'm also getting just a smidgen of tropical fruit. I love this scent, but it only lasted for about two hours, and the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Next, next is Rustic Wildflowers. Yellow. Notes are Sunflower, Marigold, Chrysanthemum, and Meadow Grass. I saw those notes and I got worried because Marigold and Chrysanthemum are very bitter flowers. But this is a woodsy scent with a little bit of pine and a hint of an herbal note. It's not sweet. I'm not getting any floral notes. It's even a little bit savory, but not zesty like a salad. Like there's no savory herb like sage or rosemary. It smells like a natural scent, like the scent of walking through the woods. Uh, again, marigold and chrysanthemum, I'm not smelling that in the notes. Those are very bitter flowers. I'm not getting any bitterness at all. It's actually a very nice scent. It's just more of... Like I said, like a natural scent of walking, walking in the woods or walking out in nature, but not necessarily a floral. And it's, again, a little bit more savory than sweet. The throw is very strong, four out of five. This one is Spiced Apple Crisp. When I got this, it was missing the label, but thankfully underneath, it does say Spiced Apple Crisp. I just don't know what the notes are because again, it hasn't appeared on the Walmart website yet, and the labels are, there's no label here. So we've got Spiced Apple Crisp. I don't know what the notes are, but it is a fantastic, authentic apple pie scent with nutmeg, a bit of cinnamon, and lots of cloves. And the throw is bold. Five out of five took over the entire house. And last, we have Teakwood and Oak. And this one definitely did return from last year. And last year, I actually... This is the only scent that I have that I bought from last year. It was on sale a couple of months ago for a dollar because I guess they didn't sell very well last year. When I compare them side by side, you can definitely see the difference in the wax. The old wax is just drier looking, doesn't look as good, and this wax just looks more rich and, and just smooth. Interestingly, though, the last year's version was... Um, was actually a little bit stronger. Go figure, even though it was manufactured by an overseas company. Notes are teakwood, oak, grapefruit, tonka, amber, and incense. This might be my favorite scent of this collection. I am getting the oud, which is a dark, intense, rich, tarry, woody scent with tree sap and cedar notes. No smokiness, very deep, slightly patchouli-ish notes. Uh, this is a little bit sweeter than just oud, so there's some incense notes as well, like eastern spices, maybe a bit more patchouli, as well as maybe a hint of some other kind of wood, and maybe a bit of amber for warmth. It's an absolutely incredible scent. Looking at the notes, they're spot on except for grapefruit. I'm not getting grapefruit at all. And uh, the throw is strong, like a 3.5 out of 5. Last year's was actually 4 out of 5. But you know what? It also depends on sometimes the room, on the air conditioning, whatever. This might, this one might actually just be as strong. Uh, but it's it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite scents. If you like incensey, woodsy, patchouli type scents, you'll love this one. So there you have it. Those are the new Pioneer Woman wax melts from 2022, made by Rimports, the company that makes Sensational's wax melts. If you want to read a text version of this review, just go to Wax Melt Reviews and feel free to join our Facebook group where we discuss all different brands and scents of retail and store-bought wax melts, including the Sensationals and the Pioneer Woman, Walmart, Wax, etc. You can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video and on also on our website at waxmeltreviews.com. Have a good day.